I want to give you a live demonstration of an automated AI customer service software that I've built. Uh, and I've had a lot of people commenting saying, trust me, bro, I'm just a trust me, bro kind of guy, and this doesn't actually work. So I want to prove to you that I'm actually using it day to day in my own business. Obviously, this is my software. So if you come to my website, uh, I've got a whole lot of information. I've got blog pages, whatever page of my website a customer is on. Let's say they're reading this blog post, right? And they want some more information and they want to know what chat IQ is. They can actually come and talk to my chatbot. And this chatbot has been trained on every page on my website. And you can see it's given me a detailed response. Uh, that detailed response also allows me to submit a support ticket. And I want to show you how the support ticketing system works. So this is the dashboard here. This is exactly the same chatbot that's on my website, but this is the playground. So if I actually ask this question again, what is chat IQ? This is the same response. You can pause and read this as you can see on the website. So this is like the area where you train your chatbot. So I have the ability to adjust the responses if I want. Um, but Again, I can set up support ticketing. So if I come to here, you can see that I've set this up so I've got different categories. People can submit bug reports, feature requests, and if they've got account level issues. So this is my ticketing system at the moment. These are the current open tickets. If I just filter this by the open tickets at the moment, uh, you can see here, this is a test that I just did earlier. And this is a recent email that I've just got in. So this customer's being charged and they want to be able to cancel their subscription. They can't log in. So I'm going to show you a live demonstration of how I'm actually dealing with a customer's concern. Again, this is another customer who wanted to cancel. Uh, I've dealt with these customer tickets. I've just reopened them to demonstrate how this is working. So now on the website, if a customer submits a support ticket, let's say they've got an account level issue. I'm just going to put it here in a test email just to show you what it looks like on my end or your end if you were using the software uh, we just go put in test we submit that support ticket they can return to the chat uh, and continue to have a conversation also you can see just how quickly the ai responds now as a business you can see that new support ticket has come through here and the ai has prioritized that support ticket it's categorized it and everything so now, as a business, what we can do, I log in every morning and I deal with the support tickets that have come in. So this customer, I've actually set up a SendGrid integration here. So I can actually respond to all of the support tickets using SendGrid. But I had an issue with the SendGrid integration the other day, which means when I replied to this customer, it may not have gone through. So when we reply, we can actually see the conversation that person's had with the chatbot. So I can see here they want to cancel and get a refund. Now, ChatIQ doesn't offer refunds because obviously we have usage. If people have used our software, that has a cost on us, so we can't refund. Uh, but we can cancel their subscriptions. So I've actually drafted out a response already. So we're going to do this. We're going to send this information to the AI. And this is like a prompting machine here. I said, please let the customer know we can't offer refunds, but we have canceled their subscription. Also let them know we did reply to the ticket a few days ago, but we noticed our SendGrid integration may have disconnected, leading to the customer to not receive our previous response. So this is like a complicated response to this customer and I want to make sure they understand that we are dealing with their problem but if they have any extra concerns they can let us know. I've sent this to the AI and now it's filled out all of that information so let's just quickly read through this. Dear James, I'm going to change that. Thanks for reaching out to us. We apologize for any inconvenience caused and understand your decision to cancel your subscription. We have canceled your subscription as per your request. We apologize for any issues with our previous response. It seems our SendGrid integration may have disconnected, resulting in you not receiving our previous reply. We appreciate your understanding and patience in this matter. If there is anything else we can assist you with, please feel free to let us know. So all I now need to do is fill out my name. I can add in extra information into the email if I want to. Uh, in this case, I don't think it's actually mentioned that we've already refunded, that we can't offer refunds. Um, so we're going to add that in uh, here. So I've added in uh, an extra line here. I said, unfortunately, we, as per our refund policy, we do not offer refunds due to usage on customer accounts. I've also added in uh, Emma from customer support. I have a, an employee called Emma who deals with this stuff. So I'm just going to do this and make sure it's sent out from her. So now it's drafted the response. All I then need to do is click on send via SendGrid and it's now dealt with that customer concern. So we can close that ticket. So now we know that that customer's received our response. That is it. <laughs> it's done. Uh, I want to give you a demonstration now of what happens when we talk to a customer and they respond to the email. So you can see here, this is the test example that we just came through. Again, just for a reminder, this support ticket came through from the chatbot on our website. You can see this is everything here. Um, Let's go back to the dashboard and we're going to do it from this one, actually, because this is a real email address. So here we're going to reply to this support ticket. Uh, we're just going to suggest a response because obviously it's just imported the response from the previous one. Here we go. It's just come up with a generic reply. I'm going to tailor this response here, make sure it's changed. I'm going to change that to that. So now you can see this is the new reply. 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to send this email via SendGrid. And I want you to see what happens when we come into my email account here. So this is the email account we're going to be using. Uh, let's come back to Chat IQ, and we're going to send this email now. When we come into the email account, we're going to wait for a second. This email should come through. There we go. There's the new email that's just come through from Chat IQ support. Here we go. We can open it up. Cool. Just sorry, got rid of the blur. So you can see here, thanks for reaching out to us in order to assist you effectively, blah, 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 blah. You can pause this. You can read the email. This is exactly the same email that just came through. So now what we're going to do is we're going to reply to that email. So imagine this is the customer now replying. We're just going to say test response to the send grid reply using chat IQ support ticket in right so now you know that I'm going to respond to this and I want to show you what happens now when we come into the Gmail account of my own uh, business you can see that email has just come through Sebastian's personal it's come through here uh, let me just close this blur thing. Sorry, I don't want you reading all of my customers emails uh, and now we're just going to close this blur out I do apologize for this and there we go, this is the entire thread. So test response to send grid reply using chat IQ support ticketing. That is the response that came through from the AI. So then if I just respond to this test again, and we go back to this conversation thread, there we go, the test response has just come through. So if there's a customer concern that's sort of ongoing, you can continue to continue that uh, email conversation if you have to. Uh, but like I say, most of it is just dealt with in one email using Chat IQ. Um, and there we go. That is literally as simple as that. I mean, you can train your chatbot on your own website's data. All you need to do is come to the upload data section, put in the URL of your website. Uh, you can tag it and then add it to your chatbot. It's incredibly easy to do. I've got loads of videos on the channel on how to do this, but I wanted to give you a live example of me dealing with a live customer concern. Uh, I do get support tickets through Chat IQ in the software. People who use my software can submit a ticket if they want to. Uh, the whole software, Chat IQ support ticketing and customer service is dealt with using my own software. So for those of you out there who are saying, you know, I'm not sure if this works, I'm not sure if I should believe you, just to let you know, I use it myself in my own business to run customer support for my own software. So uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Obviously, if you want to get started, the link is down below in the description. It will take you to a website. There's a video on there which will explain a little bit more about how the software works, but then you can sign up for a free trial on a website. You have to put in your card details. It is a seven-day free trial, uh, and then after that, it's $30 a month.